Hey everybody, this video is about two brand new projectors from our friends at JVC, the NZ800 and NZ900. These models are updates to the popular NZ8 and NZ9 models that include some new tech to make them even more powerful. Let's take a look at these brand new JVC projectors. Now, when JVC introduced its DILA light engine in 1997, it became a serious contender in the front projection home theater world. DILA stands for Digital Direct Driven Image Light Amplifier, and this tech has evolved over the last two decades. When we reviewed their NZ8 and NZ9 models, which have true 4K native DILA chips, we were highly impressed with the performance, and they have been a top seller at Audio Advice since their introduction. Now, JVC is introducing new upgraded models, the NZ800 and NZ900, which feature their third generation DILA chips, second generation 8K E-Shift X, optimized blue essent laser light source for more lumens, and other video enhancements. Our team here at Audio Advice was really excited to hear this news, and we were eager to get our hands on the new projectors to put them to the test prior to their launch. Now in this video, we will cover the upgraded features that both projectors share over their predecessors, and then discuss the differences between them and why you may want one over the other. Just like their previous models, these new units are built like tanks. In fact, they utilize the exact same chassis as the NZ8 and NZ9, so you won't really notice a difference at first glance. Now, every single unit is pretty heavy around 50 pounds, so we highly recommend you have a friend help you if you're gonna hang your new JVC projector. JVC also stands behind its build quality with a three-year warranty and a one-year advanced replacement warranty, which is pretty incredible. Now, the DILA device is the heart of these projectors and plays an essential role in making the image the best it can be. The NZ800 and NZ900 are both updated with the new third generation DILA devices where JVC has improved the alignment control of liquid crystals and enhanced the flatness of image pixels. What this all means for you is that you get 1.5 times the native contrast ratio and better all overall image uniformity compared to the previous NZ8 and NZ9. Now, both of these new models also feature JVC's newly optimized blue essent laser light source, which can last up to 20,000 hours at 50% brightness. The laser light engine is another essential component of a projector, and JVC has optimized it to achieve higher peak brightness levels than before. Now, we will go over their updated lumens a little bit later on in this video. Now, here's something that JVC doesn't really make a big deal out of, as it's been a feature in their projectors for many years, but motorized lens memory gets you into the widescreen experience, which we are huge fans of here at Audio Advice. With 85% of blockbuster movies being filmed in widescreen, it is the way to enjoy content the way the director intended. Both of these new projectors can be set up to give you both standard 16x9 HDTV ratio content and the wider aspect ratio of 2.4. You simply set up the two lens memories and you are all done. JVC even takes it a step further, giving you up to 10 memory slots for those fans of European TV series or many new Netflix shows such as Stranger Things, which are moving to ratios of 2.0 and 2.1. Now, these are not as wide as widescreen movies, but are wider than the standard HDTV content. JVC also makes these models perfectly compatible with the aftermarket Panamorph lens for an even better widescreen experience. Now, if you wanna learn more about what a Panamorph lens is or about widescreen, check out the videos in the links in the description to learn more about both of those. JVC projectors have always been known for their brilliant color and detail. You have likely seen the term HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. This technology enables studios to master content with high dynamic range. Now, HDR10 tech allows them to embed metadata in the video feed, which instructs your TV or projector on how to reproduce the signal for brighter whites, deeper and more contrast-rich blacks, and many more variations of colors. The idea is really fantastic. However, HDR content is designed for display devices like flat panel TVs that can achieve light output from a few hundred nits all the way up to a few thousand nits. Now, one nit is equal to one candela or one candle power per square meter. It is essentially the brightness per unit area. 
The catch is that most home theater projectors can only produce about 100 to 200 nits. This gap caused projector manufacturers to devise a better way to interpret the HDR10 data to deliver a great image on a front projection system. So JVC developed Frame Adapt HDR, which looks at the signal frame by frame or scene by scene, and then dynamically changes the tone mapping based on analyzing the HDR10 content. The even better part is they take it one step further. To fully optimize HDR content, you need to know how much light your system will be able to produce. With JVC's system, you input your screen size and screen gain. The system knows how much you have open the iris, along with your throw distance, and uses its home theater optimizer to adjust the tone mapping based on your exact system and the environment that it's in. Now, in addition to the standard HDR10, the new NZ800 and NZ900 support HDR10+. We are seeing more and more Blu-ray discs and streaming content deploy this HDR10+, which also embeds the luminance information for each scene in the metadata, rather than just an average for the entire movie like HDR10. This lets the system get even closer to the HDR image that the producer intended us to see. Now, for these new NZ800 and NZ900 projectors, JVC has once again pushed the limits of what is possible by implementing their second generation of Frame Adapt HDR. They took this already incredible process of analyzing the signal frame by frame or scene by scene and re-examined it to achieve an HDR image with high definition. Plus, their proprietary algorithm for tone curve selection has been improved to reproduce HDR images that are brighter, more colorful, and have a wider dynamic range. JVC has also introduced a few new updates to their processing, which we will go over now. First is the new deep black function, the DML or display mastering luminance, filmmaker mode, and vivid picture mode in each model. The deep black function actively subdues tones in dark areas for more realistic darkness and maximizes the dynamic range so that scenes with light and dark shades can be projected with even greater realism. The DML adjusts and sets the dynamic range to match the image for improved HDR tone mapping. Now the filmmaker mode was developed by UHD Alliance, which it gives you the ability to recreate an image that is more faithful to the look that the director intended you to see. It does this by turning off frame interpolation and noise reduction and setting the color temperature to 6500 Kelvin, which is a standard in the industry. Now finally, JVC is introducing a new picture mode called Vivid and is excellent for SDR animated content with a more narrow dynamic range. This mode will allow the content to shine with greater vividness and more saturated colors. Now, when you combine these modes with the new second generation Frame Adapt HDR, these new projectors give you deeper blacks and allow you to project the very best of what each source has to offer. Now, in case all of this sounds very technical, for you to get the best results, all you really need to do is one thing. And we go over this in our exclusive tips and tricks guide that we send to you if you purchase your JVC projector from Audio Advice. Now, also with the NZ800 and NZ900, you get the latest second generation 8K eShift X system that shifts in four diagonals directions, up, down, left, and right. To achieve this, JVC had to increase the processor speed and design a way to drive the panel at twice the speed as before. There is a 240Hz driver that goes in the NZ800 and NZ900 to deliver images at a speed equivalent to 240Hz with 35 million addressable pixels. This updated technology, paired with the 0.69-inch native 4K DILA device, has drastically improved the sharpness and detail across a wide range of content. JVC also utilizes the same high-performance lenses as the NZ8 and NZ9 in these new models. The NZ800 features a 65mm, 17-element, 15-group all-glass lens, and the NZ900 steps up to a 100mm HQ lens system with 18-element, 16-group all-glass lens and five special low-dispersion lenses. The NZ900 lens is also better suited for 8K reproduction, meaning that when you turn on the eShift X tech, the improvements in detail are even bigger. Now, the NZ800 and NZ900 are both equipped with two 48 gigabits per second HDMI 2.1 inputs with HDCP 2.3, which enables them to accept and playback a full 8K 60p source. While we don't see much content available in 8K just yet, it's good to know that this projector will be future-proof for a long time as new source formats change. With the low latency mode, you can even play games at 4K 120p, which will make gameplay super smooth if you have the latest Xbox, PlayStation, or gaming PC.
Now, there are no major changes this year to JVC's already great calibration system. The menus are very extensive and with some very deep level settings for adjusting and calibrating your picture. You can even input the brand and type of screen material that you have in your system for the best color accuracy. And the great news is that most of the default settings are exactly where you want to leave them, but we will go over all of this in our tips and tricks guide. Now, if you are the type of video enthusiast who wants to take things a step further, JVC has a great piece of free software. Now, you do need to purchase an optical meter for around $200 and up, but with a great laptop their software, and a meter, you can get extremely close to what would cost you several hundred dollars from a professional calibrator. And it's all automatic. Okay, let's look at the main upgrades that the NZ800 has over the NZ8. The NZ800's blue essence laser light source has been optimized to achieve a peak brightness of 2700 lumens, 200 lumens more than the NZ8's 2500 lumens. In addition, the third generation native 4K DILA device improves the contrast ratio to 100,000 to 1 in the NZ800 compared to the NZ8's 80,000 to 1 contrast ratio. JVC has also worked to make improvements in its manufacturing process, resulting in improved screen uniformity and even better image quality. Overall, when compared side by side, the NZ800 offers an 8% increase in lumens, better contrast, and deeper blacks in the picture, and a more uniform image on the screen from edge to edge. When you combine all of these upgrades, the NZ800 is a clear step up from the NZ8 if you're considering a projector in this price range. Now before we continue, if you are in the design phase of your home theater or media room, you have to check out our home theater central page at audioadvice.com. We have our free home theater design tool where you can plug in all of your seating, your screen, your projector or TV, and your speakers, and it will put everything in the optimized position for you all automatically. So check it out at audioadvice.com right now if you're still planning your theater or trying to upgrade your current one. Okay, now the new top of the line NZ900 steps up to the same larger lens that's in the NZ9, but also includes the third generation 4K DILA device, giving it an upgraded 150,000 to one contrast ratio compared to the NZ9's 100,000 to one contrast ratio. The improved laser inside will also bump up the peak lumens to 3,300, which is 300 more than the NZ9's 3,000 peak lumens. This is a brightness increase of over 22% from the NZ800, and includes a larger 100 millimeter higher quality lens system. Thanks to its latest generation chips, the new NZ900 will have 10% more light output, deeper blacks, and better contrast ratio than its predecessor, the NZ9. If you have a big screen of 170 inches or bigger, the NZ900 will be a much better choice than the NZ800. So if you have discerning taste for the best video quality and or wanna have a screen of considerable size, the NZ900 is a great choice. Yes, it is expensive, but it has all of the great features that we described earlier, including JVC's best lens and 4K chips. JVC sent us the new NZ800 and NZ900 for some testing, and we utilized one of our home theater testing labs to put them through their paces and compare them to the NZ8 and NZ9. If you own or have owned an NZ8 or NZ9, these models will be easy to set up and use as pretty much everything about them, including the menus, have stayed exactly the same. Now, we used our exclusive audio advice setup guide that we send to all of our customers to dial in each projector before testing them with different movies and different games. After watching different scenes using Blu-ray disc movies and even streaming content from Netflix and Max, we were really, really pleased with the overall performance of these new projectors. The step up in brightness from the NZ8 and NZ9, while it's around 8% and 10% of a bump, was noticeable when you put them side by side. In addition, the blacks were even a little bit darker and the contrast and picture looked even more true to life. Now, this was evident in movies with dark scenes where certain parts of the scene were meant to be deep black and other parts were meant to be in the dark shadow. The NZ800 and NZ900 just handled dark tones brilliantly. And one reason for this is their dynamic laser light control feature, which analyzes the incoming video signal to automatically control the amount of outgoing laser light to produce a dynamic contrast of infinity to one in scenes with pitch blackness by completely shutting off the light source. The best way for us to describe it is if you've ever experienced a properly calibrated NZ8 or NZ9 in person, you can picture the image of the NZ800 and NZ900 with even more color accuracy, a little bit deeper blacks, a little bit sharper image, and a little bit more brightness. JVC has taken two already phenomenal projectors and just made them a little more powerful. So a big question here will be, should you upgrade your NZ8 or NZ9? If you have a large theater room or a multi-purpose room where there are some ambient lights in the room, 
these new models will have a little bit extra brightness to combat that and we would recommend them over their predecessors. However, if you're in a theater and have complete control over your light, the upgrade may be a little bit bigger of a question for you. If you're really looking to get more out of your NZ8 or NZ9, then we recommend first using our exclusive audio advice setup guide to get the best image possible. If you still want more performance after calibrating it properly, stepping up to the NZ800 or NZ900 might be a good option for you, but you may want to reach out to one of our experts to see if it's worth the upgrade. Now, if you're considering one of these new projectors, you can also use our free home theater design tool or free home theater projector distance calculator to compare both models to each other or the NZ8 and NZ9. Now, our experts have measured the brightness in all of these projectors in a real world environment to give you more accurate results and allow you to see the difference in brightness or nits when you place them in your room. Now, all you have to do is plug in your room dimensions, your projector location, screen size, and more, and you can be sure that you're getting the best option that will have enough brightness to display HDR content and fill your screen with a bright and vivid image. Overall, JVC has done a fantastic job with the new NZ800 and NZ900. While they may look the same on the outside as the NZ8 and NZ9, the guts of these projectors are completely updated to give you a better overall experience. If you're purchasing your first JVC projector, we would probably recommend going with the NZ800 or NZ900 as you will get the latest technology inside and the extra brightness right away. However, if you already own an NZ8 or an NZ9 and are considering upgrading to the new models, we would recommend first chatting with our team of experts to make sure that it's the best option for you. Remember, you will want to be sure that you have a high quality screen and some high quality source components before upgrading your projector and expecting to see a huge change. Now, remember, if you purchase your JVC projector from Audio Advice, it will include our exclusive tips and tricks guide to help you calibrate and get this projector the best image that it can have. Now, if you've made it this far, I wanna thank you for watching and supporting our channel here at Audio Advice. If you have further questions about these new projectors or anything audio or video related, contact our experts via chat, phone, or email, or simply visit one of our world-class showrooms to experience some speakers, projectors, TVs, and everything in between for yourself before making a purchase. Now, also, when you buy from Audio Advice, we offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please support us by giving it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.